Frontline workers are the heart of many organizations, but at the same time you can find out that many of these companies never enable this type of users in the area of the Microsoft 365. In this video, I would like to introduce you to the basic strategy how to prepare yourself and your organization to enable frontline workers to use Microsoft 365 to deliver them the secure solution that will allow to communicate with them, to deliver them the application to consume, but also to deliver the data for the rest of your company. This is not easy process, but I will do my best to introduce you to the best practice and simple strategy elements that you need to focus on to be sure that enablement of the frontline workers will be possible and also what you can use in the area of the Microsoft 365 to prepare the solution that will be effective from the cost perspective and will be possible to implement in the most of the organizations. And if you would like this video, I want to ask you to leave your thumbs up. If you want to get any kind of notification, please subscribe. I will really appreciate your feedback. So let's start from the definition who the frontline workers are. In general, these are the employees that in many cases do not use any kind of PC, probably working in the factories or facing the customers, and in many times using devices from the company like tablets or smartphones or not using any company-owned devices at all. At the same time, these are the people that are doing the huge amount of work in the area of delivering the quality and the business in the company, and that's the reason why more and more companies start to think how to enable these users to use internal IT solutions that are owned in the company, but also to secure that model. You meet that people every day. Maybe these are salespeople, waiters, drivers of the cars or doctors. And to be very fair, a lot of companies has challenges to enable that kind of users in the organizations. The licenses, so Microsoft 365 F license, which are dedicated to that kind of users are sometimes present in the organization, but still these type of the users are totally not enabled, not included in the company. Last year, I have a chance to work with that kind of organizations to interview them. What are the biggest challenges in the area of enabling this type of users to work as a part of the IT organization in the company to use technical solutions that are there when the licenses are in place. And you will find three main reasons why companies does not decide or have the big challenges in facing the frontline workers to be enabled to be deliver them some kind of solution that will include them in the Microsoft 365. First of thing, you need to take in consideration frontline workers are cost sensitive type of the worker in the organization. It doesn't mean that company does not invest in them, but at the same time cost related with the 20,000s of the users in a company could be quite important for the organization for the cost structure. So when you're thinking about any kind of projects that will be delivered to the frontline workers, you need to consider first of all that kind of scale and second, what is the cost behind it? Because keeping that costs on the low level in many times is super important for the C-level management. Of course, this is the way how that kind of business works. Second thing, which stops users who are frontline workers to be enabled to use Microsoft 365 is the lack of the devices. Not every organization provides laptops, tablets or PCs to their every employee. Some frontline workers does not have that kind of devices at all or using their personal device to share any data across the organization. And this is super important. If the company have any kind of tablet or 
phone devices that are provided to the frontline workers, you are you have still foundation to to build on. But if there's no devices provided to frontline workers, which is very very common, then the only solution you can provide for the large scale of the users is bring your own device strategy. And I can hear what you're thinking right now and what you're saying. This is crazy to ask our business users to implement any kind of company application on their personal device. Sometimes it could be the case, but at the same time, building the strategy that will enable that clearly be more cost effective solution than buying the device for each person in the organization. Remember costs are very sensitive topics in the area of the enablement on the frontline workers. So building the solution that will on the one hand be some kind of value for the frontline workers and on the other hand will be cost effective solution is super important. The third element that is also a blocker there's no identity. So there's no account for these people created in the Azure Active Directory. There's no authentication method provided for such users. And there's no way for them to log in to any kind of applications, any kind of solutions that are part of the Microsoft 365. And the last thing, which I already a little mentioned, you need to figure out the element that will be value for the end users, for the frontline workers. They need to have a purpose, goal, and something delivered for personally for them that will bring them to open any kind of applications on their mobile phone, personal mobile phone, or device provided by the company and visit any kind of solution that you will provide. For lack of accelerators provided for the, and dedicated for the frontline workers, is a blocker that's stopping the people to use the technical solution that can be offered by the organization from your side. So how to prepare yourself, so how to prepare the strategy that will allow you to enable frontline workers in your organization, to deliver them the possibility to authenticate, to have their identity in the Azure AD, to deliver them any kind of bring your own device strategy, any kind of accelerators, you will need to provide them Microsoft 365 licenses, subscriptions that will allow them to use apps available in there. Microsoft 365 provide F licenses, something that could really keep your frontline workers inside your Microsoft 365 organization and delivers the solution that you need. But at the same time, you need to remember about the costs. So you can see that's why I'm starting from the Microsoft 365 F1 license, which is the cheapest one from the portfolio for the frontline workers. Remember, keeping the costs low from the perspective of the frontline workers is something very important. For this scenario, for the 20,000 of users, it will be more than half of million of dollars yearly to be sure that these users will be enabled from the frontline workers subscription perspective. And still, this is the cheapest way to achieve that kind of solution. At the same time, you can ask, okay, but what about other elements? This is the solution that will be the cheapest on the market, but what about other components that we want to use? So what I would recommend to use Frontline Workers F1 license, because this will be something that will provide you the suit that will allow to enable Microsoft 365 and collaboration communication tools dedicated for that kind of users. And how designed is Microsoft 365 F1 license. One thing which is super important, there's no exchange mailbox included in that kind of license. This kind of users will not have exchange online email box provided. Probably this is not solution that will work for every scenario, but at the same time, it is quite effective way to start to work with frontline workers. And I always recommend start small, test if something working and then scale up. Remember, you can go for the more expensive solutions with the exchange mailbox, but it will increase the costs. 
you can see when we getting to the more expensive solution from perspective of the licenses so microsoft 365 f3 license it is eight dollars so you have to multiply the cost four times from perspective of all frontline workers. This will be dramatically bigger volume of money for your management to be approved. So again, my recommendation will be to start small. Start from perspective of Microsoft 365 F1 product and then scale up with that kind of solution will work for you. We get back to our F1 licenses. So what is included if we doesn't have Microsoft Exchange mailbox and how we can communicate with these people and address our needs based on that. So what is important? There is Microsoft Teams included, SharePoint, Yammer and Viva product. This is great starting point to build on top of that one centralized platform for the frontline workers. Microsoft Teams, in that kind of setup will be the application that will provide everything that this user will need. There will be chat, there will be calls, there will be possibility to use Viva connections, extend the SharePoint there, Viva Engage to extend Yammer and its capabilities, Viva Learning and Viva Insights for these employees. Moreover, you will also be able to use Microsoft OneDrive. Remember, this is limited just for two gigabytes to share the data in the secure way inside the organization between the users. So from the perspective of working, building the communication collaboration platform, you have the tools to provide that kind of solution. And what is the most important part to be sure that you will be able to provide that secure way there is Azure Active Directory Identity Protection Plan 1 and Intune including that. So you can manage the devices, you have the licenses needed to build, bring your own device strategy using Intune and to build conditional access for such approach to be sure that users will be secured. And at the same time, we're keeping the costs very low based on that kind of implementation. Imagine that Office 365 E3 license does not cover Intune and conditional access, but this license does. I believe this is limited for the resolution of the screen for the devices like phones and tablets, but still this is perfect solution for the frontline workers. Okay, but you can also ask, okay, we have the bring your own device strategy, we have Teams, we have the SharePoint and Viva components to build collaboration and communication platform in secure way, but how to communicate in the large scale with this type of users if we doesn't have exchange? In this case, what I want to recommend you is implementation of the company communicator app template for your users. This is very simple application that you can deploy in the Microsoft Teams with some Azure components. So some small additional costs on the Azure services will be needed. You should assume volume like up to $100 per month that will allow you to create Microsoft 365 groups, group the frontline workers there and send them communication through Microsoft Teams. And this is also quite important because people will get the access to the pop-up messages that will be provided through Microsoft Teams. So you can send the announcements, you can send the information about the webinars, about the new policies, about the new information, trainings, anything you want using Microsoft Teams Company Communicator. From license perspective, solution is totally free. The only thing you need to do is to implement it on your solution, deploy the Azure services, and you can send massive communication to the frontline workers, not through emails, but through the chat communication via Teams. Again, Teams becomes in that model, one centralized place where frontline workers have everything they need from perspective of communication and collaboration with the employee. So you can see there is technical solution that allows you to build relatively cheap solution for your frontline workers to deliver them Microsoft Teams, Microsoft SharePoint, Viva components and massive communication provided from the office workers, information workers, directly to the frontline workers based on the Microsoft 365 F1 subscription, which is the cheapest one from perspective of the Office 365. But at the same time, you can ask, okay, 
but still, what is the purpose of doing that? Do you have any idea how these people communicating with each other? How they sending any information from one employee to another related with work? We did that kind of research with through organizations. What I seen, WhatsApp, WeTransfer, Messenger, mobile apps are the solutions that are heavily used between that kind of users to share the data front and back in the organization from perspective of the frontline workers. Consider if this is secure scenario for your organization. If this is the way how you can guarantee high level management that based on that, there is no risk on leak of data and consider what is the risk for such an approach. Of course, this is totally shadow IT solutions based on the publicly available apps for the mobile devices. Maybe this is not something that will harm you immediately, but take in consideration what level of risk is behind that way of working of these employees. Moreover, the second element we seen when we talking with the customers around frontline workers and the work they doing on the daily basis, everything is on paper. Every announcement organization is on paper. The whole knowledge, training materials, update of the procedures, everything is printed out. If you will consider the cost <laughs> impact on the environment, that's one thing. But on the other hand, if something is printed out, it cannot be changed. Imagine if you update the training material, if you will update the safety procedure, if you will update any kind of information that have to be shared with multiple people across frontline workers, how are you doing that? You're destroying the previous versions, you're printing out the newest one and putting on the table, putting on the board, anything like that. This is also very risky solution. Having access to SharePoint, to Viva Learning, to Viva Engage. These are the platforms that you can use to public in the centralized way, digital format of the informations, announcements, policies, safety procedures, and share that with other employees. You can build the groups when people can use their smartphones to share the information about the safety risk across factories, rather than talk about it. You can deliver a lot of solutions, enable that employees to do more, to share the information with them much more efficient way than you're doing right now. And again, you need to take in consideration if that kind of approach is something that will really improve your organization. I believe it will, but first of all, you need to also discuss with people how it works today and where is the space for improvement based on that. And from technology perspective, you already see how you can move your users, your current processes from the maybe manual paper-based solutions to more digital secure approach. But at the same time, there is really good chance that this will not enable your business users, your frontline workers to start to use it. You need to bring something for them that will be personally attractive for the each person. You need to build a strategy to bring them from this very well-known manual paperwork solutions to something totally different to, to face that kind of change in the organization. And this has to be beneficial for them personally, not for the organization, for them personally. So don't think only about technology. Don't think about available Intune, SharePoint, Viva products. Also sit down together with the managers, with the team leaders and look for the possibility to accelerate these users from their business perspective. Maybe this is the internal communication Craigslist for, for the factories, for the frontline workers to share the knowledge, share the information that somebody have a puppy, somebody have the flat to rent, information that will enable comic, be not something that will be strictly connected with daily work, but that will bring them from the perspective of looking for the pictures of a puppy, then to do something more. And there are multiple scenarios that you can figure out, like many of the cafeteria, pictures from the integration parties, 
benefits that can be achievable only through that model. You need to figure out something, sit down together and figure out the solution that will be beneficial for them. If you want to encourage them to share the safety risks across the organization, across the factory, build the pricing model for that. Maybe it could be tickets to the cinema, maybe some additional benefit, but give something to these people that will encourage them to start to use it. Great technology will be not enough. Having that kind of scenarios, multiple scenarios that will allow them to get there for something maybe very silly, but later on, maybe they will open the Teams application to check menu from the cafeteria for today, but the next day they will figure out there is also C-level management announcement about the future of the organization. And maybe someday they will go to the Viva Engage and discuss about effectiveness of the some process in the organization. This will not something that will happen very quickly, but having multiple accelerators that will bring business users to use and to visit these applications is something that I highly recommend from my perspective, this must have to make that kind of project successful. So to sum up, I want to recommend you the strategy to enable frontline workers based on the cheapest possible solution, small, simple solution that will start, that will be tested, that will be proved by you and based on the result could be evolve in the future. Start small using Microsoft 365 F1 licenses, deliver the identity. If the users does not have devices, provide bring your own device strategy that will allow users to use their personal devices to communicate with the organization. Deliver the accelerators that will bene be beneficial for them that will allow them to have interest in visiting these applications, to joining their personal device with the company network and install the applications that you will provide. Use Microsoft Viva as a centralized place for the communication with the frontline workers. Switch from the email paper communication to chat-based, Microsoft Teams-based communication with the frontline workers use company communicator to deliver that kind of communication globally to everyone build your collaboration platform using sharepoint viva products and microsoft teams build the intranet landing page navigation page using sharepoint and viva connections use viva engage to build the collaboration multiple to multiple users between people to share the ideas to ask the questions Use Viva Learning to provide digital format of the trainings, of the procedures, learning materials that you have in the organization. Move people from using paper, boards, books of the knowledge and try to move them to the digital solution. And I will repeat that again, use accelerators to engage people to joining that process, to visiting your apps, create personally interesting accelerators, benefits for these people to join your program, to visit the applications that you will prepare. I hope that this general strategy for enabling the frontline workers will be helpful for you. Again, this is not a simple process. You will need to face a lot of also internal challenges, probably a lot of discussion with C-level management, with frontline workers. But from my perspective, it's super important nowadays to make your workplace secure, to be prepared that people will not share company data with third party applications, but everything will be structured in the modern solution like Microsoft 365. I hope that this video will help you to prepare yourself to build the initial steps, how to approach that kind of model. Remember to keep the costs low to be sure that this will be something that this is from the organization perspective, operational perspective will be acceptable and start doing that. Start small and grow naturally through the process. I always recommend in such case when you're facing employees in the project, agile approach. So step-by-step -step solution evolving in every phase based on your experience. And if you will have any additional questions, 
If you have your experience in similar implementation of the frontline worker strategy in your company or company you work, I'm more than happy to, to hear about that and share that in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, keeping finger crossed for your strategy to enable frontline workers.